Are you ready to come book shopping with me in Dublin? Say less, say less, okay? Let's go. Hey guys, my name is Em and welcome back to my channel. So you may notice that I'm not in my usual filming setup. I'm not in my house. That is because I'm actually on like a little belated birthday trip away. So for those of you who don't know, it was my 18th birthday two weeks ago and me and my mom were supposed to go away for a little girly trip on my actual birthday, but then she was sick for my actual birthday. So we decided to just wait until everyone was feeling up to it. And I'm so glad that we did because we've been having an amazing, amazing time. So yeah, I'm currently in Dublin. The main kind of aim of this trip was for me to just go do a bit of shopping because I got some birthday money and Christmas money. I suppose that's the perk of having a birthday right after Christmas is that you kind of you collect a few gift cards and stuff throughout those holidays. So yeah I wanted to do a little bit of shopping. We did most of the shopping yesterday but I didn't really film that much because I don't know it was we were already like so tired. We got here at like 10 o'clock yesterday and we only stopped walking at like seven i think or half seven in the evening so we were walking for like a long time so i didn't really film anything yesterday but now moving on to the point of this video which is of course a book shopping video come book shopping with me so yeah today we decided that we were going to go to some of the bookshops around dublin there's some amazing bookshops here and i'm going to take you with me and film as much as i can i might also do a haul of the things that i bought yesterday i don't know maybe you guys don't care i'll put it after all the book content so that if anyone here only wants to watch the books that's fine that like I, I don't mind but for other people like I know I would like to see what people went shopping and bought because I love hauls like they're literally my favorite thing on earth it's kind of too late to give me your input right now because when you're watching this I will have already showed you but it is what it is so yeah welcome to the video I am very excited and yeah let's go book shopping <laughs> I am now back from book shopping. I got myself a latte on the way back from Pret. I had no idea we had one in Ireland. I don't know why I thought that we didn't. I don't even know if it's new or if it was always there, but I swear it wasn't there before. Like I, I don't think it was. Like I've been to the place that I went to today before and I swear this wasn't there. So I went to it because I was like, you know what? I've heard a lot. I want to try it out. Not that special. I'm not going to lie. Um, I've had better coffees to be fair, but it was extremely cold outside and holding a hot latte in my hands for the Lewis back to the hotel was perfect and was well worth the four euro 45 it cost for this latte. So 
yeah, would give it like a solid maybe like five out of ten. Like I've had better. It's honestly, <laughs> it's okay. I don't know why I'm giving you a coffee review right now. That is so not the point of this update. So let's get into the book haul, which is actually quite a small book haul. Okay. Let's go. I hopefully got a few clips. I was trying to film anything that I could, but I literally have such bad anxiety when it comes to like taking pictures and videos in public. So I tried to film as much as I could. I went to two bookshops. First of all, I went to Chapters, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous bookshop. I went there in the summer with Sarah and Lucy. So like going back into it without them, I was just kind of like, I wish the girls were here but anyways it was still amazing it was still gorgeous I love their like sticky note wall that they have they have such cute things in there I, I think it's so sweet so yeah I went into chapters and it is huge like there's so many so many books there but I actually didn't buy anything I don't know why I didn't buy anything because usually I buy a lot of books yeah I just didn't buy anything so sorry that we don't have a haul from that but then we went to Hodges Figgis which is an amazing amazing bookshop I think it is my favorite bookshop it's just so huge and there's so many books and it's just gorgeous as well and I think I think it's connected with Waterstones like we don't have a Waterstones in Ireland actually I think we do have a Waterstones in Ireland. I've just never been to it. I don't know where it is in the country, but I think we have one. But I think like Hodges Figgis is like the Irish version of Waterstones because we actually went there with Lucy and Sarah as well. And Lucy used her Waterstones reward card in Hodges Figgis. That's why I'm thinking that they're connected. And I actually did buy a book in there, um, but I only bought one book. I feel like I was expecting to buy so many more books and I'm sorry that I like started this whole like come book shopping with me video and I only bought one book. But to be fair, I did get a text from my postman saying that there's a book package at my door. So when I get home, there's also two books in a package waiting for me that I will show you in this video as well. But I did buy one book in Hodges Figgis because I've seen this book in every bookshop that I went to this trip. And I actually went to Dubray Books yesterday, which is actually probably my favorite bookshop. Maybe, I don't know. But I didn't buy anything in there and I didn't buy it in there. But now I'm kind of regretting it because they actually had Light Lark in there by Alex Astor. And I really wanted to get that book. and I haven't seen it anywhere else. So low-key regretting not buying that but it's fine so let me show you the book that i bought in hodges figgis if you have the opportunity to go to hodges figgis if you're in dublin and you want to go book shopping i would highly recommend it is so so nice um so yeah i bought one book but let's haul it together shall we so the book that i bought was she gets the girl notice how i am accidentally matching with my jumper and my lip gloss this book has been on my radar for a while and i haven't bought it simply because i rarely read ya like rom-coms it's not really something that i reach for however the plot of this book just sounds so intriguing and I feel like I'm gonna love it and also can we talk about the fact that this is by two authors and they are married like I'm sorry but these two women literally like are married and co-wrote a book together like if that's not goals I don't know what is they also threw in a little bookmark in there which I think is so cute so yeah that is my extensive haul I think I will give you a haul of what I bought yesterday if you don't want to see that I'm sorry I will be hauling two more books when I get home yeah I'm gonna haul the things that I bought yesterday because these vlogs obviously are for you guys but they're also for me and memories and stuff and like this is my 18th birthday and I kind of want to remember this trip so I'm going to show you a haul of the stuff that I bought if you don't care you can skip ahead y you have permission to leave I don't I don't mind I hope you enjoyed seeing some Irish bookshops if you are from Ireland maybe you recognize some places if you are not from Ireland maybe it was nice to see how bookshops look and how cities look in other countries I don't know so yeah with this section out of the way let me show you a few things that I bought yesterday okay I'm gonna go through this as quickly as I possibly can because we actually have to check out in like 40 minutes and I have not packed yet so I gotta go quickly okay so the first thing that I got was this t-shirt in Urban Outfitters it's so cute it says you just gotta be groovy and that's so true I think that this is such a cute little t-shirt and I love the fabric it's so soft I have to say it kind of just blend into my skin tone a little bit and it kind of did look like I was wearing nothing I don't know if that's a pro or a con depends who you ask then in Stradvarius I bought this gorgeous little like pink top jumper I don't know what this is honestly but it's so cute and this color you can't really see on the camera but it's like a blush pink this is my favorite color ever like if I could have everything that I ever own and wore in this color I would and then also in Stradvarius I bought these cargo pants you've probably 
probably seen them like everywhere but I bought these cargo pants this was such a hard decision for me to buy them because they also had a blush pink pair but the blush pink pair were not available in my size in the store so I was kind of like okay do I not buy any or do I buy the white ones that are there and then possibly order the pink ones online or just leave it and just like wear the white ones I didn't buy them immediately but then I was like I kept thinking about them and I was like okay I have to go back then in Pull and Bear I went in and I bought this dress it was on clearance um because obviously it is January right now so I'm not wearing anything like this for probably the next six months but I bought this dress it's just very very cute and it was seven euro and then also i got this kind of like linen kind of cardigan thing i don't know what it is it's cute and again summer love it then i also bought the charlotte tilbury beauty wand that has been everywhere i wanted to buy this for so long and i got a gift card for brown thomas where they sell these then moving on to the final purchase but also kind of like the biggest purchase because i went into this shop and i was like i'm just gonna look and that was the biggest lie i've ever told so yeah anyways i went into lululemon because it just opened up like a few weeks or months ago i'm not sure and i wanted to go okay i wanted to go and i was like you know what i'm just gonna look i'm just gonna look it's fine i'm not gonna get anything but I did. That was that was such a lie because I did. But honestly, it was kind of worth it just for the little bag they gave me. So let me show you what I bought. Okay. So I bought the Align leggings. These leggings are so, so soft. Like they're so comfortable. They're so flattering. They're so gorgeous. But my next purchase, I wasn't planning on getting. But you will be maybe not surprised to see that I bought the... BBL jacket. I think that's what it's called. I mean, I know that's not what it's actually called, but I bought this jacket. It is so cute. It is so flattering. It is so lovely. I posted it on my Snapchat story and I was like, guys, should I get this? And literally all my friends were like, get it. So I, I, I got it. And then one final purchase from there, I got the water bottle. But to be fair, I actually got this water bottle for practically free. I was buying these two things and my mom was like, I want to buy you a water bottle for your birthday. So I was like, no, no, no. Like it's it's expensive like i don't need to buy a wash bottle and then the girl behind the counter was like i'll put a deal on it if you want like i'll put a discount on it if you want because it's your birthday and i'm like queen okay so i ended up getting like 40 or 50 euros off my whole order so i was very happy with that and i'm so so excited now that i have this but yeah that is my haul guys i really really hope you enjoyed i will also show you the two books that i got at home i have had the best couple days if you watch to the end comment some birthday emojis and yeah thank you so so much for watching guys stay amazing stay kind and i'll see you in the next one bye